I'm uh, Keith Bailey. I'm the writer, uh, director, and co-producer of this madness, which is known as Test Group. I'm Albert. I am serving as the co-producer for Test Group. And I am Ginger Page. I am also a co-producer for Test Group the movie. Hi there. I am Albert, and I am at a big truck that I am renting, driving around to some cool places, about to do some cool things, and ultimately make a really cool movie. This documentary is going to chronicle the making of the movie Test Group. This is just a teaser for things to come. We're going to keep a lot of information about the film close hand, but we are also going to give you a glimpse into the love that is going into this creation. I hope you're having a great day. Stay tuned. We're going to have a lot of information and fun things for you to watch on this documentary. Zombies at the Speed of Life, colon, the making of Test Group. Often ask me, you know, where the idea for Test Group and its uh, follow-up films came from, and actually, uh, it comes from out of a party that I throw every year. I have a uh, thing around Halloween season called my Fangs and Things Marathon, where I try to find the uh, cheesiest horror films I possibly can and show them back to back to back from from one day all the way into the next. And uh, we were watching a whole bunch of zombie films one year, and I got to thinking, you know, every single one of those films starts with the zombie apocalypse already having started or already being in, in, in motion. And I was like, well, you know, no one ever shows you how it got started or who it started with. Uh, so I got to thinking about, well, you know, that would be really cool to do as a movie. And then I decided I wanted to put some twists of my own to uh, how zombies would behave and how zombies uh, would react. So when it got down to it, uh, it actually made for a really good storyline because in the first movie I could tell the story of how the infection gets started and then in the subsequent two movies I was able to explain more about what the, uh, the effects of the zombie virus were on different people, how it would mutate, and in the end, you know, who was going to survive. Hi there, uh, I'm Albert, this is Ginger, the pretty one. Um, and uh, this is the next chapter in our documentary, uh, Zombies at the Speed of Life, uh, the making of Test Group. And we are en route to shooting our trailer. Uh, we're pretty excited about that. Krista Beth is a little nervous. She, uh, her mom asked us to confirm that there would in fact be no zombies uh, when we're filming and I let her know that everyone there will be alive and she is safe. So yeah, today's been crazy. Uh, we've been running around uh, trying to get all our stuff together. Uh, what can seemingly be the most insignificant thing can sometimes be the most difficult thing to score. Uh, for example, we were running all over town trying to find a hospital gown. You can't buy those at uniform stores and that sort of thing. So we finally got one. Anyway, I guess I'll turn this camera off for now and uh, we're gonna go film some reel. Stay tuned. The film schedule for Test Group is actually, it's, it's really exciting because it's coming up very, very soon. Uh, we start filming uh, in May of 2014. Uh, we're going to be doing the B-roll roll footage first, which is all the things that are on the television sets and on the uh, radio and stuff that, that's in the background. And we start with all those little things first. And then this summer, we're going to be filming all of the children's scenes for all three movies. Uh, because we want to make sure that the children don't age any from the beginning uh, in the first movie to the last movie. Uh, after that, we'll go into filming all the adult parts in the fall, and then we'll be editing that together. So we're looking at uh, a late fall uh, release in 2015, which actually is very exciting because the movie is set in the Christmas season leading up to the holidays. And so it's go the movie will be coming out at the same time that it's set. Uh, to be being seen so it, it's really going to be fun and exciting to have the movie come out on schedule on time uh, right when the movie uh, the, the script is written for 
So Christmas season 2015 should be a, a real fun time. What's up? What's up? Yeah. So who are you and what's going on? My name is Anissa Nayel and I auditioned for Miss Jade, Captain Jade. Right on. Marks. How'd it go? I think it went good. When we started uh, our the test group a fan page on Facebook group page, uh, one of the first people that got onto that page uh, was Anissa Niall Johnson, and um, she kept liking everything that we did and being really supportive, you know, the whole time. And I I really got to looking at her photographs, you know, and stuff, and thinking that she would make a really good Jade. So I was really really hoping that she would be able to act when we got to the audition phase. And fortunately for us, uh, she really can. Uh, so she actually got to be Jade. So she filled that role that I had in my head uh, and does a really good job uh, already, even in just the few rehearsals she's had, uh, of doing that part. Hey, what's up? I'm Max. Uh, I'm from uh, Lower Alabama, Gulf Coast. Transplanted here too. Um, I heard about this through my buddy Keith. He's uh, working on the movie. And I've always wanted to be in a zombie movie, so I uh, thought I'd show up. Mm. When I heard that uh, Max Leroy Reed III uh, was going to uh, audition for Test Creep, I really got excited about that. When he read for uh, some of the parts, it, we were originally reading him for a different part than what we cast him as, but when I saw his that his coloring was so close to Christabeth's, uh, we really uh, switched gears and had him read for Stephen Bishop, who's uh, Christabeth's father. And he did a really, really good reading of that, too. And it just cemented that in, in, in my mind. How we got our, our child star from the movie, which is uh, Christabeth Campbell, uh, who I absolutely adore this child. She, she is so funny and she's so great. Uh, we had a series of auditions for the children for the uh, test group trailer. And we didn't have a whole lot of children show up. But she was so good during the auditions, and I really, really um, couldn't think of anybody better to have taken on that role or that part. And as many people as we've auditioned after that, I still feel the same way. I think that she is the perfect choice. Uh, the fact that she is so cute and so sweet and so nice, and then she goes into this zombie character that is so creepy uh, is kind of uh, there's a great uh, contradiction in her personality which I absolutely love and she's so bright and bubbly to have around on set you know that you, you, you really can't uh, ask for a better person to work with and how I got involved with uh, Albert Roberts um, actually he had put an ad out on Craigslist looking for a scriptwriter. And he had an idea for a zombie film of his own, which actually we probably will still do later on because it's actually a really good uh, idea. But we got into the discussion on that, and I told him, well, I already have a trilogy of films that's written and copyrighted and uh, had been optioned at one time. And so he wanted to see those, and I sent him uh, a non-disclosure agreement first, and then sent him the scripts so that he could read them over. And uh, he really, really liked the script and wanted to do that. Uh, series of scripts so he introduced me to his fiance Ginger uh, and the three of us uh, kind of got along really really well uh, from the very beginning and so uh, the partnership of the other side of Georgia Incorporated got started and, and we went into the production on the, the three films. Hey guys this is Albert with the documentary for the making of Test Group uh, we're calling it Zombies at the Speed of Life uh, tonight we're going to a uh, photo shoot for one of our next actresses that's, uh, that we brought aboard. Her name is Katie Heater. That's my GPS. Uh, Katie Heater, H-E-E-T-E-R. She's on our Facebook page. She's absolutely amazing, and uh, she's going to be portraying Rachel. So uh, let's see what happens when I get there. Fun times tonight, as you can see. I drove up here perfectly clean and now I look like I've been eating people, but uh, it was fun. We got some good photo shoots and uh, I guess we'll go ahead and uh, put this up for you guys. I made the decision that I was going to go ahead and make a zombie movie and I had very high standards for it, a lot of criterion that had to be met and so it was in my search for uh, a story that I found Keith Bailey and that is when Test Group happened. That was pretty much the moment of conception outside of him writing the entire thing. But that's what has now brought the story to life was Keith uh, uh, crossing my lifeline. 
And so uh, that was just critical because his story was already written. In fact, not just Test Group, but the uh, subsequent uh, films that will comprise the trilogy. Uh, and you'll hear more about that as well. But uh, uh, just so I, I just am so thankful and very fortunate to have uh, crossed paths with uh, Keith. And he is uh, uh, why Test Group is here and why we now have, I guess, what we're calling Test Groupies. When we got to discussing soundtracks, uh, it was really interesting because Ginger had brought up uh, Candy Apple Black, which, of course, she has uh, personal ties to, but she wanted me to hear the music without telling me what those ties were, and I listened to the soundtracks, and I really liked the sound of the music, and so uh, when she finally introduced me to David, uh, I actually you know, really liked the sound of what he does, and I think that uh, his music really complements the uh, scenes that we have written, and I don't think that we could have gotten a better soundtrack for the trailer uh, when we did that. And if you haven't seen the trailer yet, you should really go and look at it because the soundtrack on it is really, uh, it just fits and falls right into place where we need it. It was perfect. The storyboard's basically like a blueprint for the uh, for the camera angles of the movie. You know, it's a bit, it's it's almost like seeing the movie in a comic book format, and that's kind of the angle I'm going for with the uh, with the cinematography. The idea that you know it's it's laid out like a comic book, like a graphic novel, uh, with very you know extreme angles, powerful angles. Uh, you know, the, uh, I wanted this idea that uh, each shot to sort of really jumps out of the screen out of the screen at the audience. So, um, yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot of work too, especially considering you got you know an entire script you have to basically draw. So, <laughs> but uh, it's a lot of fun. I love to draw. So uh, we have Keith Bailey, Ginger Page, and David B. Goodwin, as we're going by. Yes. Yes. As, as we were dubbed, uh, and so we're here tonight having a uh, shot in celebration of. Test group. Uh, this is just really exciting. Uh, you can, if you don't know what we're talking about, go to www.testgroupthemovie.com. Uh, but we are making a zombie movie, and it's pretty cool. So tonight we're going to raise a toast to also David's participation because he is uh, essentially uh, Candy Apple Black, and you're going to be hearing a lot more about them. Beautiful music, uh, very futuristic, ambient, something you can relax to. To the trailer. Okay. Yeah. 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 To the trailer. Exactly. Yes. This is our trailer. Trailer trash. Part. Yes, <laughs> trailer trash. Yeah. Awesome. All right. Cheers. 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 Choke on a hooker. Choke on a hooker. And it's at, uh, again, testgroupthemovie.com. And my phone's ringing. Right. Okay, the last step here in making you look dead is going to be making your lips blue. <laughs> hey, Dylan, say something funny. <laughs> Suck. I am the most obvious eavesdropper in the world. <laughs> yes, you are. And your name is Bennett. Yes. Hey Bennett, how are you? Good. I'm gonna get your awesome shirt. Uh, Studio Z. Now, Krista, 
sit up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right.